What's up everyone? I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible, so let's one take Jake it. If you've watched any of my previous videos, there's one glaring flaw. And I'm not talking about the terrible editing, it's the even worse audio. Hell, I hate listening to half of my videos. So I sat down and thought, what would the other YouTubers do? And that's when I remembered Potato Jet mentioning removing Echo from his videos. So I took a good long listen to my videos and realized, man, half of them sound like I'm in a cave. So I need a way to dampen the sound reverbing back into my mic. A condenser around the mic would do the trick, and if you don't know what a condenser is, it's a ring that surrounds the mic and dampens the waves reverbing back into it. I could 3D print a frame, but I would still need a good sound dampening material to surround it. And the answer was fairly surprising. Towels! I watched this video and it taught me that towels are basically the best sound dampening tool available per inch of thickness. They're outperforming the acoustic panels that I have up on my wall right now. Let's talk about the design. Two walls surround half the mic that are 3 millimeters apart, wide enough to fit a towel between them. Both walls are loaded with triangular holes. These holes allow the sound waves to pass into the towel. There's about 30 millimeters of incline plane from the walls to the mic. Embedded in that plane are some triangles so the sound doesn't reverb off the bottom. All right, let's get to building this thing. So the 3D print is done and now it's time to put it on the mic, see if it'll fit. There's some cracking on the right side of the frame, but it doesn't really matter since the holes are just so the sound waves can pass into the towels and it fits. So. Everything looks good, and it's time to put the towel in it. We'll get one last quick shot of the frame before we put the towel in. And I fold the towel in half, and I'll make sure that the crease lines up with the 3mm gap. Then I put a credit card in between the gap and slide it down, pushing the fabric into the gap. It was a tight fit, so I couldn't push the credit card all the way down. But in the next clip, you'll see how I was able to pull the fabric all the way to the bottom and then use the credit card to smooth it out. But the credit card did help start it, especially around the corners. In the end, I'm glad I got lazy and made these big triangles in the back. It allowed an easy way to pull the towels all the way to the bottom of the frame. And without them, not sure what I would have done. Now that the fabric has been pulled all the way to the bottom of the frame, you can use a credit card to smooth it out. Honestly, I don't think this is really necessary because you can't see the fabric in between the triangles because you're gonna fold the towel over it again. But if you care about it being really smooth, you can do what I did and just get it really nice and even with the credit card. Once your towel's as smooth as you want, it's time to cut off the excess I just take all the pieces and fold it over the edge, take a pair of scissors and cut down it. I think the only thing you have to worry about is making sure that one side isn't too short and the towel easily can cover both ends. Alright, it's the same for the other side, so we're just going to skip it. And the results? In order to see if the condenser works or not, I try to load up Audacity and track the wavelengths in order to see if they trail off differently with or without the condenser. And let's take a look at the findings. The results are in and I have no idea what I'm looking at. The top two waves are the words testing one, two, and three, and the bottom two waves are the word two elongated. To be honest, I can see the difference in the two waves. To me, there's definitely sound quality improvement, but I just don't see it. Maybe it's placebo effect. If you can see the difference in the waves, or can hear the difference when I put on the isolation ring, drop a comment. Alright, well that's the end of this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw, and to check out more of my builds you should follow my Instagram, at MrCatNaps. See you next time!